Sometimes I just don't have time to chop every single vegetable and make every single sauce. Hi, welcome to Meals with Maria. This all started when I was watching an episode of The Kitchen and Sunny Anderson said as she was making these delicious chicken cheesesteaks, sometimes I am just lazy, impatient, and hungry. And that resonated with me so much. I was like, I need meals for when I am lazy, impatient, and hungry. Now she was referring to the fact that she bought her uh, chicken already shaved, kind of like shaved steak, because they sell that now and they make it super easy. But her meal is very, very fast, very easy, and it can be way better than a takeout meal and way less expensive. I found a few other meals that are also gonna be delicious when it comes to lazy, impatient, and hungry meals, because I know at least I, feel like that quite often and I always need some good recipes. So we are starting off with that chicken cheese steak and we're gonna have a beer too. No, we're actually gonna make beer cheese to go with it. So in this case, we are gonna make the sauce, but it is super simple and you will see how easy it is. I also chopped up one onion and put that in a pan over medium heat with a little bit of oil. We're gonna cook that up to five for five to seven minutes. While that's cooking, add eight to 10 ounces of beer to a saucepan over medium heat. Then add in a teaspoon of chicken seasoning, a teaspoon of chipotle steak seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a tea half a teaspoon of salt, and a sprinkle of pepper. Go ahead and bring that to a simmer. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna get my rolls ready for my subs. So I just have some that I got at the store and I'm going to toast them in the toaster oven. You totally do not have to toast them, but that's how I like it. Once the onion is cooked, add a pound to a pound and a half of shaved chicken breast. Like I said, this is the easy part of it because you don't have to do any slicing or dicing. It's already shaved for you. I also think this might taste great with shaved steak, so whatever you have on hand. To the chicken, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of chicken or poultry seasoning, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and then you just wanna cook that until it is well cooked through about five to eight minutes. It's gonna be browned. While well, that's cooking, now that our beer mixture is simmering, you just wanna whisk in about two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using just like a Mexican blend and that turned out fine. So whatever you have on hand, I'm sure will do. I had never made a beer cheese before and I was pleasantly surprised. I was so happy with how this turned out. It was so delicious and so thick and creamy. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Once the chicken was done, I just added the cheese sauce right in there and mixed everything together. You could alternatively make the sandwiches and then pour the cheese sauce over the top, but I really like the idea of really covering that chicken all in that cheesy sauce. It was so delicious. If you want, add some mayonnaise to your rolls and then put that chicken right on top. I was so shocked and surprised at how simple this actually was. It took me 15 minutes, I swear, like on the dot, because I really wanted to get ready, go to a football game or I wanted to watch the football game in my living room. So I was rushing and I was like, I wanna make sure that these are ready. These are gonna be so good for the game. And it all happened, it all came together, no problem. So it really is a great, lazy, impatient, hungry meal. Sunny had the right idea. So similar situation on this one, I was watching an all recipes video and they had a pesto chicken bake on there. And I'm like, yep, that is something that I can do so easily and so fast. We're gonna make this whole meal in just 30 minutes with absolutely no chopping or sauce making. I love it. So you just wanna start by covering your sheet pan. We're gonna make everything even easier. Grab a big sheet pan and either do tin foil or I'm just going to crumple up some parchment paper and put that on there so that it stays flat. That is kind of the secret to the parchment paper so it doesn't fly away on you. I have six boneless skinless chicken thighs. These do end up being a little bit more expensive than your bone-in skin on. So if you do have those, you can take the extra time to take the bone and skin out. But if you're being lazy trying to make things quick and you are impatient, go ahead and just buy them like that. Same thing with these potatoes. They would be great if they were diced up potatoes and they're a little bit more expensive to buy the little ones but the little ones will cook really quickly and you don't have to do any extra work. And we also have some cherry tomatoes here and we're just gonna place those on that sheet pan, drizzle it with olive oil, and then you can use your favorite seasoning blend. I'm actually gonna use Auntie Nono's. I just did a video about them the other day and I still have a discount code for you guys. So if you are interested in buying some Auntie Nono's, I've been putting it on everything and it's so delicious. Discount code is down in the description box. You just wanna cook this at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. 
And then we're going to put a pound of green beans over the top. You can buy these in a bag already cleaned, washed, and trimmed, and it's super easy. And then we're going to place this, you know, make sure to move everything around so you want to make sure that it gets in the oil and in the seasoning. And then place this back in the oven for another 10 minutes. If you're new here, I have a one-year-old, so there's toys everywhere. And if you could see him, he was like pulling things down. It's adorable, but it's just, it's just life. After that 10 minutes, your meal is done. Everything is gonna be cooked through. Your green beans are gonna be so perfectly cooked. And then I'm just gonna take some store-bought pesto and put that kind of drizzle that over the top. If you have like a drizzling bottle, it's gonna be even better than like the spoon that I'm using. And squeeze a squeeze of lemon if you have it and some fresh parsley if you have it. And wow, that is gonna be absolutely delicious. And like I said, it's so, so fast. There's so little hands-on time with this that it really is amazing and amazing amazing weeknight meal. Everybody loved it, especially Ben. He is such a good eater. He's, he's my good eater for now. We'll see how he does when he hits like 18 months because I hear that's when they get a little tough. The next one is a mug omelet. So, you know, sometimes you just don't wanna dirty those pans in the morning. You don't wanna get the butter going. You don't wanna do all the stuff. You can cook a delicious omelet right in the microwave. It is that easy. I will admit I was skeptical, but it is actually delicious. So you just wanna spray down your mug with some nonstick spray. Then place one tablespoon of unsalted butter in the bottom. And I sliced up one scallion and put, I was supposed to put only the white parts in it, but I just put all of the parts in it. And then you wanna microwave that for about a minute until softened and that's kinda of, kind of cook your onions through. But you don't have to use scallions. You could always use like red onions or whatever you have. This is gonna be very versatile to whatever you actually have on hand or wanna put in your omelet because I wanted to do like a pesto one because hey, I had pesto left over from my sheet pan meal, shocker. But the original recipe is like ham and cheese. So, you know, we're gonna do one, two tablespoons of milk in this followed by two large eggs and about a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then I'm putting a couple teaspoons of that store-bought pesto that I already had that's perfect opportunity to use up. I love pesto and eggs personally, but like I said, if you have some bacon bits, go ahead and throw that in there, whatever you like in your omelet. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, now is the time to do it. I am cracking two eggs with one hand just for you guys, just so that you know that it's important to subscribe to the channel. Then give everything a good stir and put back in the microwave for two to three minutes. I did mine for three minutes and it was cooked perfectly. It tasted amazing. If you plan to make any of these recipes or even if you don't, go ahead and give this video a like because it's a good idea. I wanna thank you so much for watching today. If you wanna see more amazing recipes like this, go ahead and click the video right up here. You are gonna love it.